What's up everybody? It's Allison. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are reviewing the Too Faced White Peach Palette. When I first saw this come out on social media, I was like, wow, those colors are so pretty. The color that stuck out to me most was definitely the purple shimmery color that's right here called Peach Passion. I was like, oh my god, I want to do like a super smoky eye with that and that color on my lid. And then just recently I kind of did like the same type of look, so I didn't want to do the exact same thing. So I was like, why not just do a little bit of eyeliner and throw that shadow on top and see how that turns out for me. Overall, I am liking this look that I created with this palette it wouldn't be my most favorite if they're not my most favorite eyeshadows but I do own quite a bit of Too Faced products so why not just add that to the collection the palette does come in this box right here it's cute packaging I like the little ombre effect from purple to white it does feel pretty luxurious it feels not too heavy but it feels heavy enough to where you feel like you're using a high quality product I do want to read to you what it says on the back of the box white peach was created with matte shimmer and glitter shadows that add dimension and light to the rest of the Too Faced peaches and cream collection infused with refreshing peach and sweet fig cream the palette features an assortment of sparkling peach champagnes soft pinks and deep plum shades that smell and feel delicious for a modern way to take your peaches and cream look to the next level I do have to share with you guys I ordered this on Sephora I paid a little extra for one day shipping so I can get it in one day to be able to film this right away get it up for you guys so you can make a decision on whether or not you want to get the palette when I did open it you know how most of the palettes have like that little plastic piece that covers the mirror and covers the shadow? Um, it wasn't in there, so did it not come with the little plastic piece? Did Sephora play me right then? I don't really know what's going on with that. It didn't really look like the shadows had been touched, so I felt kind of okay with that, but I think something happened along the lines of this packaging. Now did Too Faced just forget to put it in there? If you guys have purchased this palette and you already have it and you're watching this, please comment down below and let me know if you got that little plastic piece that's in there. I am very curious to know if it's in there or not, or if somebody was messing with my palette. It didn't look like from the packaging that anything was weird, it didn't look ripped, it didn't look like it had been opened before, so I'm just very curious as to what happened with that but I was like I'm still gonna use eyeshadows because I paid the $46 and I have to do it and I have to film this look and da -da 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 -da, so on and so forth I do have the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette now when you open this one up oh it smells so good it's very like you know it's a peach okay then when you open this one up I thought we were gonna get the exact same scent but it's different and honestly, I don't really care for the scent of this peach palette. I really like the one that's in here. Is it because it's a white peach? Do they smell different? I don't really know, but uh, I, I, I don't like the scent as much as I like the scent in here. I do like the mirror on it. Good quality mirror. You can see what's going on. Um, it's not too heavy to where you can't hold this mirror and do your eyeshadow at the same time. So I do like that effect, especially for traveling, being on the go. I'm just going to start on the top row, left to right. Uh, middle row and then the last row for you digging into peach cream this one definitely has good pigment on it now we're dipping into the peach suede this has good pigment as well it's very creamy pretty color going into peaches and dreams this one I thought it was like a complete matte shade but there is a little bit of shimmer in there so I was kind of like surprised by that it's a cute champagne color that's that champagne color for you for sure now we're going into creme de la peach they're all very creamy they're very very creamy it's a nice orangey color. This one also has a little bit of shimmer to it. Moving on to the middle row. So we're dipping into peach sorbet. It's almost like a salmony pink color. I feel like they're all kind of similar. There's no shimmer in that one whatsoever. Now we're going into glistening peach. This one, a lot of product comes off on your finger. There is quite a bit of fallout on it. Oh, and it's very pretty. This one I do have on my lid. I don't know, you can't really tell anymore because of the eyeliner. It has like gold and green reflex in it. Champagne pinky. Next color is peach smoothie. I didn't use this one at all today. Ooh, it's got like a lavender 
like undertone to it. I like that. Sweet fig. It's totally matte. There's no shimmer in it whatsoever. Nice little purple. The bottom row now. Dipping into peach ice. This has a lot of shadow that comes off on your finger. Oh, yes. Swatch is very nice. You see that? Man. Maybe I should have used my finger to put this on my inner corner. This shade is on my inner corner, if you can't tell. I need to get that on my lid. Whoa. This is definitely my favorite color out of the entire palette. Moving on to the next color called Fuzzy. I do have this on my eyes as well. Moving on to On the Grill, the black shadow. Oh, this one kind of swatches patchy. Last color is the purple glittery peach passion color that I have on top of my black eyeliner right there. I feel like it's so much prettier on my arm right now than actually on my eyeliner. I probably shouldn't have done what I did, but I did it and here we are. It's beautiful. It has like purple and green and pink gold reflex in it. Oh, I feel like they all go together. They are very cohesive. I feel like you can do daytime looks with this. I feel like you can do super smoked out nighttime looks with it. Looking at all the swatches together, like they look really good. But I'm living for this right now. Look at that. That is just to die for. Wow. And those are the swatches. If you guys want to see how I created this look using this palette and see how the shadows worked out for me, make sure you keep on watching. I am going to dig into peach cream right here, the lightest shade, and I'm going to take that just all over my lid to set a good base. It does have a little fallout. Using the same brush, the next color I'm going to dip into is Peach Sorbet, and we're just going to take that in the transition. I still want to try to use as many colors as possible. Okay, I feel like, like this color is having a little bit of like a shimmer to it, even though it does not look like that in the pan. We're gonna just play around. We're gonna deep into Peaches and Dreams right here, the more like orangey. We're taking this in the crease, just right below that transition. Digging into Creme de la Peach. We're just putting that right on top of Peaches and Dreams. We're just gonna dig into Fuzzy right here, put that in the crease as well. I will say that the shadows are blending out really nicely and blending together really nicely, so that's good. I'm going to dip into Sweet Fig and get that in the crease as well, just because, like, why not? Still using the exact same brush. We're just going to dip into this shimmer, goldy, rose gold, pinkish color. It's called Glistening Peach. We're just going to get that on my finger. We are just going to take this like on the lid. That's a really pretty shimmer color for sure. So I'm actually liking how this color is looking on the lid and kind of like bringing all the shadows together. Go back and deepen up the crease a little bit. And there's quite fallout. Like this whole palette now is like pretty messy. Let's just deepen this up a little bit. Okay, we have the eyeliner on. Now we are going to pack this Peach Passion color on top of the eyeliner to see what kind of effect it gives. We are going to wet the brush because we want the most intensified look. This is like just major loose pigment, to be honest with you. I just, like a whole big chunk just came out. Can you guys see it? We're going to finish this eye real quick and we'll be right back. Face is on. Now we are ready to finish this under eye and I'm going to try to smoke some sh out. Okay, so we're going to just go into the purple shade Sweet Fig and then we will be using the black shade which is called On the Grill to smoke it all out. This is a brush that I got in the Dose of Colors Baked Browns eyeshadow palette. So we're just going to see. I haven't really used it. Just going to see how it applies this under the eye. 
Uh, not really caring for it. <laughs> Luxie Mini Round Brush. That seems to be working better. Now we're just taking a flat brush from Morphe, dipping into that black color on the grill. We're gonna keep this in the outer corner area. Now we're just gonna blend that in with that purple shade a little bit. I'm just gonna finish the under eye on this side off camera real quick, get some mascara on my bottom lashes, and I'll be back to give you my final thoughts on this palette. Guess what? I completely forgot about my inner corner highlight. How can I do that? Because this shade that I wanna use for my inner corner highlight is poppin'. This corner shade right here that is just super shimmery, glittery, it's called Peach Ice. This also seems a little bit like some loose pigment as well, like the dark purple shimmer color. Definitely has some fallout. All right, I'm digging that a little bit. It does have a little bit of fallout. Let's try to like wipe this off a little bit. We'll be back with the final thoughts. We are done with this eye look. What do you guys think? Please let me know down below in the comments. My goal was to do eyeliner and get that peach passion color on top of it. If you can't tell, there was some transfer into my crease. I don't know how that freaking happened. I think my favorite color so far is definitely gonna be the peach ice that I did in the inner corner. I like that shimmery bright color that it is giving me my eye look right now. I will continue to play with this because I do like the colors. I don't like the smell as much as like the other peach palette can't win everything right <laughs> could I have gone without getting this palette yes I could have $46 uh, if I would go back in time I probably wouldn't purchase it just because I could probably find all these colors and the many other palettes that I do have. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed my thoughts on this palette, my little review for you, my swatches, my first impression, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!